today on Everything East County, we're at my favorite new steakhouse in all of East County. We're checking out Bowling Bourbon at Saquon Resort and Casino. Let's get to it. Bowling Bourbon, it. heard a lot about it. Welcome. I, I need you to tell us all about this amazing place. So Bowling Bourbon uh, came to fruition and opened to the public uh, beginning of April, end of March, with the uh, grand opening of Squan's expansion. We are overtones of a classic steakhouse filled with some kind of fun contemporary stuff, whether it be our bar program or the dry aging room, or Wednesdays, our surf and turf. We kind of do a little bit of you know, unique things we try to attract the local audience and to, you know, really enjoy the, the product that we put together. What are some of the, the most popular dishes so far? I think that far and above our dry aged meat program is kind of something that people in the area aren't familiar with. So it, those along with the steak for four, the steak for six, the large format steaks, people are really, really enjoying and kind of digging those things. I love it. I'm ready to eat, my friend. Let's go check out the Let's kitchen. Go. Right on it. All right, Marcel, I'm excited. What are we making today? So today we're um, showcasing one of our uh, signature cuts. It's a six ounce grass-fed uh, filet mignon from Lone Pine Ranch in Northern California, which is our special on Wednesdays, and we combine it with the main lobster tail for $29. It's our surf and turf only on Wednesdays. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's what we give back to East County. <laughs> <laughs> well, it. we have more than this on a Wednesday, so you can come in and you can enjoy uh, the up to like 12 different cuts and it, we have a big variety of ribeyes, back to like leaner cuts, like um, fillets, short loins, whatever you want, so. All right, and then uh, this is bowl and bourbon. This so is bourbon. So cocktails are an important part right. of a good meal. What is the uh, the proper pairing for this meal? Right, for this proper pairing, I would, um, we would go like back to Sean later on maybe, and I would say we should go with like an old fashioned, super classic, surf and turf, like a little bit from the old times, years ago, everyone likes it, old fashioned, super classic cocktail. Not too heavy, but it pairs really good with a delicious lobster tail. So talk me through the preparation here. So what goes into the steak before we ever throw it on the grill? Well, into the steak goes nothing except some love, and it gets grass fed, I would say, so we get it from Lone Pine Ranch, and Newport is our purveyor, so they ship it to us, and then we temper the steak before we cook it because it just gets less of a shock if we put it on the grill. That's our wood fried barbecue over there, and we salt it, that's it, it goes straight on the grill, give it a little bit of crust, little grill marks for the good flavor, caramelization uh, to enhance the natural beef flavor, and then later on we just finish it with a little bit of our balsamic butter, that's a balsamic glaze herb mix we do for our steaks. It's everything that goes in that steak. So talk to me about the choice to go wood fire, because that's unique. Um, yeah, that's really unique. Um, almost no one does it, and we wanted to have that challenge to go with the wood fire grill. It was really challenging in the beginning, but it just gives so much more flavor, and it's a show effect, so we showcase this restaurant with the open kitchen, and everyone, everyone can see it. From almost every place in the restaurant, you will see this wood fire grill and it lights up the restaurant in the evening and gets like a cozy atmosphere and you're really like in a steakhouse and we enhance the flavor of the steaks by grilling them on a mix of white oak, red oak and almond. Through that mix we get like a really enhanced flavor so that we, we worked in the beginning with different kind of wood mix yeah. and so we ended up doing the white oak, red oak. Usually people do white oak because it's cheap right. and we uh, added a little bit of almond. It's like a really dry piece of wood and then it just burns really long, gives us a nice taste. And so what are we going to pair the steak with today? So we're going to pair it with the main lobster tail. Um, as I said, it's our special for the surf and turf. Um, you can add it every time you come to the restaurant, we pair every steak. You can serve it with a king crab, a lobster tail, or some um, Mexican shrimp. So today it's our lobster tail. It's a full lobster tail, and we just baste it a little bit in a vermonte, which is a seafood stock and butter, just to warm it up and don't also don't cover the taste of the lobster tail. And one other thing I noticed, the chef took the steak off the grill and then now it's just sitting. So talk me through why that's right. important. So um, I call it the bullseye. So if you have a steak which is not properly rested, um, you will have it cooked like well done on the outside and you have that bullseye strip in the middle which just looks like rare or medium rare. So by the time we pull it off the grill to let it rest, that um, juice will go back in the meat and we'll have like a 
thoroughly bright color or nice color in the meat. So we rest our steaks before we give them to guests because then they don't bleed out. And what is just worse than a bleeding out steak on your plate? So you open up your steak and you have all the juice on the plate and the steak is not nice and tender anymore. It's time to dive into this meal. If you guys watched this whole episode, you've seen how much love and how much thought goes into everything that's on this plate. I'm starving, let's get to it. And I gotta go for the steak, right? Well, it's cooked so perfectly. It's got a nice crispy sear on the outside, super, super tender on the inside. I'm gonna have a little bit of this cocktail because I know my boy Sean behind the bar put some love into this too. And what good is a good steak without a glass of bourbon? Mm. Guys, if you have not been to Bull and Bourbon here at Saquon Casino, you are missing out. This is my go-to spot for fine dining in East County. You gotta come check it out. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring those clients you got in town. This is the place that you guys wanna be. If you guys enjoyed the video, please share it, like it, comment on it. Let everybody know about this amazing spot we've got here in East County. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Everything East County.